No, Kyle Ferguson put out a really, really good video on uh, how to play Garden of Terror, how to position on it, what 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 advantages you can get with vision and, and kind of how to engage around the objective phase and how to use it and stuff like that to your benefit. So if you do want to learn a little bit more about that, uh, the Heroes Hearth YouTube page is where you can find that information. He's got a lot of good build videos out there. Um, there's a good one like when to pick Deathwing. Um, uh, dear Lord, doesn't he have like a, another one about positioning, uh, drafting, garden, position, that's what it is. drafting, yeah. It just the list goes on. Kyle's calls him a beast when it comes to making quality content, and all of that can be found on the Heroes Earth uh, YouTube channel. So if you guys haven't checked it out, definitely recommend. Tons of funny games too. I think we just had a we just uploaded one today that was the, the Heal Me, <laughs> which is which is just me <laughs> screaming at Trick to heal me when I'm playing Illidan, and obviously GG's. he can't. <laughs> ggs no heals um yeah. yeah no if you actually if you want to watch a really fun storm league game that's a good one like if you want to see some hinterlands blast if you want to see oh, some God. hunt if you want to see some judgment um flashbacks and no i'm dude thinking about that game if you want to if you want to see trick heal well do we do we do air quotes around heal or did he heal like you tell me i was <laughs> I, I was low health so something was obviously <laughs> not getting healed it's a really funny video. I, I highly recommend it. But we find ourselves here on Sky Temple, the juiciest of pirate maps. Um, I, realistically, though, like things like Sylvanas still will probably be the priority when it comes to bans. We got to see Sylvanas in game number one, and her locking down towers was quite the nuisance. Also, Deathwing was like massively valued in that game. Mm -hmm. um, and this is just another great map for Deathwing, another great map for her. So they're, con they're considering their options here on the side of Seth. So they're going to get rid of that Joanna. They're going to force Tremor onto a different tank uh, for game number three here. Time to play Muradin. Time to play Muradin. Stormbolt Muradin. With Haymaker at 10. Sorry, I looked over at, at chat and, and someone just goes, that's not a play of the game by Hanzo. And I just... <laughs> <laughs> for the other I team mean, it was. For, for the Sith, yeah, it's yeah. absolutely the play of the game. But exactly Zul will needed. be banned out. I think they're they're either trying to force them to do the Deathwing ban. It's, or... like, a, it's like a Deathwing Solanus force. Yeah. Um, I'll say like something that I'm continuing to notice is I'm no longer a fan. I, I know it's really annoying and frustrating in Storm League, but I think in these mm -hmm. games where like these players are they know the game and and they're and they're able to communicate with each other, I feel like this Samuro Avatar in in combination is fairly weak. Uh, it's like it's really opening up the other team to control most of the camps and the map. Um, and the Samuro uh, yeah. is not really getting value into these picks that are getting taken to kind of stop him from pushing, right? So I don't know if... I, I, I don't want to criticize Valimar uh, or the, no, the no, players no, I, in I, this I, case. Um, it's just... Uh, it's a it's a trend that I've now seen. We've seen twice. It has been Valimar both times as well. But uh, it just hasn't really felt oppressive like you normally would think it would be um so mm -hmm. no I, I follow you i wonder if it's one of those things too like because of the fact that they're playing on a i mean they usually play it on a camp heavy base map anyways but maybe it's because he's not in that roam and he's kind of locked into the solo lane a little bit maybe that's where some of the struggle comes because you know any sort of like stealth hero like the big question is where are they zeratul nova um i don't know is not the biggest threat but still just like what you, you're always considered like valira that's maybe a better option um you know where, where are they? Are they going to be? Are they going to pop into lane? Are they going to just come in here and burst me and take my armor down by fifteen? So I wonder if the Samuro being kind of locked into top lane really hindered some of the value they could have brought into that game. Um, but we'll, we'll have to see. It doesn't look like they're going to be going for it just yet. Savannah, CTC, Rainer on the right hand side. Really good composition coming out from Sith at the start right here for Sky Temple. As we do have a Gray Main Rhaegar, and they're gonna they're gonna get rid of the Lost Vikings. They're like, you know what? <laughs> Either way, this is a Vikings map. There's some cheese here that could be had, and uh, we're just, we're, we're, we're lactose intolerant, so no cheese for you guys, or anyone. And yeah, Nintori is another one of those players who is able to play the character, so recognizing that, uh, I think it is a, it's a heads up play there from the side of the Jedis. The Deathwing is gonna be banned here as well. Um, I don't know if that shows hand to like what type of solo laner they want to pick, but it hmm. seems like one that wouldn't deal with Deathwing very well. So they could have just assumed that because of the range damage dealers that they've drafted. Fair. I'm not really sure, but they do decide to ban it, and the Jedi's are going to respond there with the false stat chin, little keg Ws. We we see week in week out that this chin pick is 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 here to stay, um, and these teams mm -hmm. definitely definitely play with it well and yeah barrels are 
pretty good ability, I want to say, right? Wandering Keg is really good for control <laughs> and, and much, much more. Um, I wonder if they go into Dahaka here on the right-hand side for, for Sith, just to get some, themselves some global. Uh, his threat on this map is pretty powerful. Ooh, it's actually going to be Urel. That character. That's right. Urel has... There's... Wait. Liam wait, plays that character. We, Wait, I'm if if players don't swap to different heroes, this will be interesting. Nah, but <laughs> that's why there's a cap in the chat. There's a cap. They they put a cap in the chat. Oh, okay. See, so I accidentally I accidentally gave myself spectator and I gave you referee by okay, accident. I looked okay. over at chat and I was like, why does why am I seeing a spooky worm? <laughs> oh, juice pirates. That's it. Juice pirates. Right. That's no, also you but need? it's Tyrael. <laughs> yeah. We're seeing. No, we're seeing an A take Tyrael, dude. This is a lot of good dive. We actually could be, we could j legit see judgment here. Like you, you could judgment in this. Sanctification, I get it. No, sanctification, I get it. I get it. It, it is, it is ninety nine point nine 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 the right choice. But judgment's always fun. <laughs> that's, that's all I'm gonna say. Oh, we have a DC from someone. Wait, Porky's in here now? Okay, yeah, Porky's in. Okay, that's right. That is right. Porky is in here now. Oh. He he's. Uh... Looking like the one who's DC'd. That's right. Weary Day has left. He must have DC'd. Yeah. No, uh, Weary was out of the left. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. We've, we've, uh, so, who's going to lose CO? Okay, well, Porky's okay, so Porky's back. back. It, it just might have been, it might have just been a, um, a little oopsie or something. All right, so we'll we'll get player back in here. I don't need to set tournament draft because we did see everybody, didn't we? We saw all the picks? Yep, all the picks are taken. Yeah. Uh, and we're on central, right? They're complaining about lag. No, no they, 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 said, they would they would have said yeah, something. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I would have one I, thing it, that would not have gone through. <laughs> yeah, three games that just finally now now just finding out. Okay, so everyone's here. Everyone's lo okay. So we're loading into game number three on Sky Temple. Um, so the Tyrion was grabbed. So so jumping back to our conversation. Yes, judgment could be fun but yeah sanctification i mean like holy ground sanctification point control over the boss point control anywhere that's going to be the opportune pick mm -hmm. but this is in-house league like we could have some fun with it i'm just saying i'm just saying oh i'm, I'm I, I can't lie they could take it um mm -hmm. like it, it is very possible it's a good response to lucio too he's one of those characters like this was a this was a, a korean draft counter uh a little while I think during mid-season brawl when we were scrimming, uh, they would take the Tyrael and go judgment against the Lucio because he can't really protect himself. Uh, so if they were to build a comp around it, it's possible. You know, you take the Falstad, Hinterlands, but uh, I don't think that that's what we're gonna see here. We'll see though. Um, looking at these two teams though, we do have Team Sith Jedi. Jedi is on the left. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Valmar is going to be on the chin. Kelsier is on the gray main. Legacy on that. Rhaegar Trimmer is going to be playing the Tyrael. God filth playing that false dad. On the right hand side, we got the members of Sith. We are going to be seeing Vesper on the Rel, Nintori on the Lucio, Porky on the Sylvanas, Jishagi on the ETC, and Troy on the Rainer. Um, bit of a interesting swap there. Porky playing Sylvanas. It is. Nintori on. Lucio. Very interesting, but they're going to go ahead and get themselves a, well, attempt to take a top tower. They're going to need to back out of here as Tremor's going to be chasing on in. Some speed boost coming in for the friendly team. Nintori nice going to be trying to do the same thing for them. Wall Ride's going to potentially get them out. Vesper comes in. Righteous Hammer to push them around with that one. Jachuggy coming in, looking for a power slide. Trying to lock down onto Tremor, it looks like. They do have all Druin's Might. Going to try and keep them from being able to get any value, but they end up dropping that. They end up falling, and that will be nice oh cooldown reduction God. for the Tyrael. Double value as Nintori and Troy get hit by that. He almost killed them too. Like, I, mm -hmm. I swear they made that thing do more damage. Good passive value though. Feels like, like it. yeah. Uh, obviously, the Tyrael dying is not great there, but he was able to hit them both, reducing the cooldown of his spawn. Uh, so he, he's he's right back at it. The XP lead, while it exists, a lot of it has to do with the fact that this push is coming out from them. Uh, side of Sith here with that Sylvanas, so they're able to take down the entire top wall. We'll probably see them go into maybe a late hard camp, right, on the objective. Uh, potentially an early one. A slide's going to connect on the Valmar. He's taking a lot. Stagger is going to be down. He falls to the Sylvanas, and just this isn't looking good. Uh, turns out they don't have a lot of wave clear to stop this four-man push from the side of Sith. 
I want to get off Mr. Bones' wild ride. It's just what this feels like. It's like, please, <laughs> leave us alone. Like, please, I just want to I want to control my lane, but they're literally just running it through top lane. False Thought actually coming up here now to try and help out and defend against this as they're getting themselves half of the fort. That was going to be Porky locking that down. I believe their trait does go down right there as they throw the Banshees. Chen actually ends up kicking towards the Sylvanas who used the Banshees at the last second. Tremor chasing in further, gets some shielding and some speed to the friendly team. And Tori looking to actually speed boost in here, tries to get the wall push, doesn't manage to connect. Got Filth is going to be sitting in the bush right there as Rhaegar is doing some some soaking for them. Once that Rhaegar shows, I wonder if they consider continuing to push because, well, there's no heals mm -hmm. from the team, but they're actually going to back off and grab themselves the top camp. Really good pressure coming in in favor for the Sith in the start of game number three on Sky Temple. Yeah, the, the early game pressure definitely playing their composition correctly and abusing the fact that they do have that Sylvanas. And they're against a weak, weak defensive team. Um, there's not a lot of abilities that say, like, be afraid of us, right? Uh, mm -hmm. And with the ETC able to knock people away with that W, especially loudspeakers at four, they're gonna have a really hard time. Even Lucio, it's just this is seems like the most. I'm just upset, Bob. Like I'm actually frustrated <laughs> because like, how do you get onto this team? And maybe like Judgment is the only way. Like there's just so mm -hmm. many loop aways. Mm -hmm. But they do take the hard camp, and now we have a hard v hard here fight happening. Whoa. As the slide gonna connect onto Kelsey here, the double boop. I'm upset. Like I said, Kelsey, you're gonna take a spill onto the ground there. Uh, and this is smelling disastrous for that, uh, that fort here. This is good pressure coming in. Porky also did take Might of the Banshee Queen. Excuse me, she actually took possession at level 4, so she's going to be able to steal some of those minions and increase their push potential here on the side of the Sith as they do have the top lane tower, which is going to focus on the top lane fort. Legacy taking a lot of damage, and Tori is going to be able to speed around and get the kill. Actually, well, Troy's going to find that kill for them, but now they're going to split down towards mid lane and get themselves a double temple phase. So far, the members of the Sith, Sith speed running Sky Temple Map 3. Even like Boomerang at this point, I don't think is going to really stop this no. siege pressure, right? Um, Thalmar doing a good job here to poke some damage onto Troy. Tremor shielding him up there, sustain some of that damage. Uh, you know, Filth does go Boomerang. Um, and it will help if he uses it. Clear. If he uses it. Uh, he didn't, you know, I'm just going to point that out. But uh, Vesperdine uh -oh. doing a good job to bait. And Porky showing up last second to pick up the kill on the God Philip and say goodbye, say la vie to those uh, towers in the bottom lane. Sylvanas doing what she does best in Storm League and taking all of the towers in the bottom lane. Uh, Jedi is able to pick yeah. up that shrine in the middle lane though. Those last few shots, they, maybe? Yeah, they will get those last shots. Valimar finds themselves in a pretty good spot right now as they kick further forward onto Chichuggy who does managed to get the power slide out. Valmar now actually on the wrong side of the engagement. I, I looked up and I was like, you were doing good, and now they're dead. But Legacy going to get chased out right now. They do have the speed from the Lucio to potentially get this dot. Oh, yeah, they chase that and they find the kill. Boss is up in 10 seconds. They do have the Siege Camp on the left-hand side, so they could look to Siege and maybe Boss, but I think Siege Camp and then maybe looking for a bottom lane for it. Sylvanas, let me just check really quickly. She does have her trait up and available, so they can look to just rotate through this upper portion, lock down the tower, and get themselves another fort in their favor. This is five minutes into game. Game three, and we have three forts down in favor for the Sith. Very well played by them. Yeah, who needs minions anyways? No, you just need Sylvanas. That's how you <laughs> win Here's the Storm now. <laughs> to the like, fort taken chat, there. To the to the to the to the everyone in chat, in your in any game you're playing, Sylvanas, this is this is how you play her as a team, and yeah. this is how you win in Here's the Storm as a team. Like you have Just one person soaked. Around. Yeah, you have one <laughs> person around. soaked. They can't die, and then you have the other four people Lucio boost around the map. Mm -hmm. Draft a person that gets 50 armor every time they use a single uh, ability. Can break roots and slows and speed themselves yep. up. Can jump mm -hmm. over walls. Can, can insta mount if they choose to do so. Can can <laughs> D shield that heals if they dive towers. Yep, Valimar taking a lot of damage. Power slide. Did they just go for the single mosh? No, don't even need it. Gonna try and get the damage over time here. The stagger won't be enough. Hyperion actually coming out from the ring. This rainer. might be GG, dude. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. Uh, this game might be over. <laughs> Lord, are we serious? Six minutes yeah, and look, 15 look seconds. Look in the top lane. Can we get a picture onto the top lane? <laughs> ah, they just called it, dude. It's just GG go next. He's gonna speed away. Oh no. Tennis. Parthing out of the top. Tennis. Oh, oh, oh solo dance. Let's go. Oh, Lucy almost, almed almost knocked him, him out. Oh, <laughs> and then pushed him back, back in. in. <laughs> <laughs> Tennis 
there's three boobs here, dude. Oh my god. They, uh, oh, there there's the Judgment Hinterlands Blast, and Tori takes a big old burst, but they have the sound barrier to buy some time. I'm upset, ETC dude. doing their I gotta, I gotta take a walk. <laughs> Goodbye, McIntyre. Chuggy's gonna try and make their way out of here. The face melt won't be enough. They're gonna go down. Shots from the bottom lane are gonna rain out into the mid, and that will be boss on core. <laughs> I gotta take a walk. <laughs> There's just so much, there's so much knockback, like it's... Dude, I just thought about it, Yorel has knockback! Yeah! There's the only one who doesn't is basically Sylvanas. And she can turn off buildings, who needs knockback? Mm -hmm. Realistically, um, they, she's trade up, they could just run to top lane right now and take a second keep if they wanted to. I mean, if they go through the front gate, so maybe mid lane, but still. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's like a, it's definitely... I would have. <laughs> I mean, I, I it's not like a broken record here, but go for the throat on Greyman was mm -hmm. probably the pick. Like, unless they're looking to one shot the ETC, which I guess they could, right? The ETC could slide away when he gets judged, and then he'll be in the middle of their team. Um, that bullet's just not gonna really get through, right? And you saw the Lucio yeah, there, I like five percent, yeah. not even. It was more like a one percent health. Being able to like tumble jump and throw out that Lucio, you know, past the ETC and, and whatnot, um, I think would have looked better. It's still very possible for them to win. They could just get an ace and, and run it down a little lane with s things like Tyrael Greyman, right? It's a lot of siege. Yeah. Shin can tank buildings very well as well. Uh, so it, it's not impossible for the side of Jedi to win this one, but you do see like the strength of this draft from the side of Sith and just all, all the components um it's not just one piece of the puzzle oh, wow. from from their comp it's a bit of everything working together here vesper joining the team something you oh, no they're gonna split off right now saying uh, excuse me that's gonna be a judgment from the tier i was ready to say the other one because you don't really ever see judgment <laughs> but uh they judgment in they aldruins might out and they're like cool i burned my cooldown we'll get that back in about 60 seconds or so you're all gonna be going back in the bottom lane vision goes over to the side of the sif and next temple phase will be top and bottom Hmm. Kind of an awkward spot right now. Yeah, they're just they're like, do we do we fight each other? What do, what do we do? Like we can see Urel's gone. We, they can make a quick rotation with the false dead. And oh, uh, holy Tyrael splits Troy. That's gonna be Hi uh, Hyperion coming out. Sound barrier from the Lucio. Power slide from the ETC. Wandering <laughs> keg comes out. They find the snipe with the hinterlands blast as the wandering keg is pushing to Shuggy around. That's gonna be got felt. They're gonna be getting the barrel roll. Huge mosh pit comes out. But where's the damage? They don't have enough. Rainer is down right now. Got felt is actually gonna survive. Nope, nope. They go down right there. So it's a one for one over this engagement as they actually do steal a couple minions in the top lane, gonna rotate towards the objective. Uh, I'm a little worried here. They're gonna actually double back and potentially get out through there. Jachuggy looking for a power slide, manages to do so, face melt to get him out, and Tori wall rides, and they only, well, yeah, just the trade out. But here, meanwhile, in bottom lane, Yorel just doing Yorel things. Yeah, the casual 4v5 loss, um, leading to a bottom shrine. The shrine mm -hmm. is probably gonna be able to pick up this middle keep. Uh, maybe, it's gonna be very close, actually. I think they have enough shot, uh, maybe? Yeah, I was, no, I was looking at the shots it's and everything it. else, and I was it's like, maybe. So but look at the top lane fort. Yeah, yeah, this is a swing back now for the side of Jedi, though. They are going to get some momentum here. Um, obviously, the next shrines are going to be very important, but they are going to have the level 16 boss spawning in probably around a minute or something, if my internal clock is working at all. Um, 16 seconds. Nope. Yeah. So I'm I'm off. My internal clock is off. But it, it it is coming up soon. It'll be the next point of contention for this map. And that was something I was you know harp on mm -hmm. here. So. Oh yeah. No. I, level 16, 14, 16. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> that that that's the the next point here. So it is going to have to be a 14, 16 boss for the game, which is not where you want to be at. But we do have some keg W's in the chat. So not impossible True. for a steal to happen. Um, mm -hmm. You typically see you know holy ground too. Uh, so there are some ways to get them out of this situation. Uh, the thing that we really want to make sure that doesn't happen is they all die. I think at this point, if their whole team gets aced, it'll probably be a GG. Um, but they can play around the fact that they do have so much control over that boss. And you're actually seeing the side of the Sith saying, well, since you guys are probably going to get that boss if it does happen, we'll just sit up here in the top lane. And then if you choose to like start it, for example, because we have a Yorel there that's just like actually away from her keyboard but like she's there as a ward <laughs> that can't be moved and like you guys have to deal with her 
We're just gonna push top if that's cool. Uh, Cause we have a character that turns buildings off, so. Just Tyrael right now. <laughs> this, just this, the, just just waiting either way. Top lane, as you said, yeah, they, they are gonna be pushing this wave up. I think they're looking to, to potentially open up top lane a little further for themselves. Urel, they're just literally just hanging out over around the boss. I think they just, they like, you know what? It doesn't matter. We're going to go clear bottom lane. And I don't think that'll be the signifier. They do see Urel down there, but I think they're just like, all right, cool. We're going to go ahead and just back off right now and manage our own lanes. But with all that delay, it is 16s up on both sides. So we could be seeing a nice, even talent to your fight. And it will be a double temple phase once again. So we should be seeing the team split. Bribe came out on the left-hand side. Oh, yeah. Oh, really quickly. For anyone that's wondering for false dead, Bribe stacks currently 13. 30% bonus lightning rod damage, and they have uh, two bribes up and available. So they could uh, they could get that bonus up to about 40% if they find two more bribes. None on the uh, none on the map available at the time as the, the last camp was picked up. But shrines, excuse me, temples will be up and available soon. And this is going to be a boss play coming out from the side of the Jedi. Yeah, really strong boss play here from Jedi. And I think it, it's looking like it's going to go to them. Uh... Side of Sith are showing up pretty late, and I think they're just opting out of it. They're saying, well, that's cool that you guys get a boss. It's only 12 minutes in. That won't even take our bottom fort. And in the meantime, we'll just take your base and potentially your core. Um, as you see, Jedi actually rotating to the middle lane. Going to fight for that one. Uh, Vespertine actually able to finish out probably the entirety of the bottom shrine. Maybe not Rhaegar and Valmar showing up. Possible yeah, barrel knock to stop the jump from getting over the wall. Trimmers, oh, they, yeah, can't really. They stop tried. Yeah. Meanwhile, though, while they see the entire enemy <laughs> team go to bottom, they jump over <laughs> to top lane and continue to get this, and that's going to be an easy keep. And <laughs> just, just playing the map. This is Sky Temple, by the way, guys. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say that this game's checkmate, but it's 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 very difficult. What needs to happen? It is it is still possible. Um, the fact that the boss is taken off the map actually slows down like the the real win condition and what needs to happen and this is one of the few cases in heroes that like rng needs to be alive is we need to see like either a, i don't think we can see a single shrine so it has to be like a, a top mid shrine something like that right where mm -hmm. they're allowed to uh contest both or they just need to win right here which is also a real play i mean i don't think there should be anything that stops them other than a character that could potentially turn off all their minions um which from doing literally any did. <laughs> sieging but yeah so they they need to yeah okay they're all dead never mind um they just kind of still need to be here though i don't think that they can leave they really can't like she needs to keep drinking and they need to pressure keeps they need to look for picks they need to look for barrel picks they need to look for judgments like they took those heroic cds to use them and yet we are seeing them choose not to, right? Even if it means one for ones at this point, they have to create opportunity for themselves because waiting around for themselves to lose is is exactly what they don't want to be doing, right? And in this case, you know, level 20 is right around the corner for the side of Sith. So I think they're playing around that factor. They know mm -hmm. that. Yeah, they're, they're playing into that that 100% here. This is where you, this just is need to, you just need to go to the top lane as the Jedi's and just suicide all in right now. Like, even though they're level 20, look how split they are. You look at where Porky's at, right? Th there was opportunity there um, to potentially get a one shot. Um, and that's like what they really need to look for. Hide on the map, they get the single shrine. That's- Yeah, wait, it's single. That's that's the, the one RNG bless that we've, we have received. So oh, it's not over dead. yet. Godfield, where are you going, bud? Uh, uh, power slide. I don't think it's worth a mosh pit. Yeah, you, you you dead right there, bud. Temple's up, but they don't have false dead, and I don't know how long oh. they're going to sit. You can already see them kind of leaving right now. This temple will end the game. They could just run bottom, too, if they really wanted to. Yeah, I don't even... I, I honestly don't think that the assists even have to contest it. Obviously, they can. It's going to be a 4v5. They could have started threatening court through the back door. Uh, but if the shrine is taken, uh, the game is over. So Jedi's have to do something about it, or they can just chalk it up. GG go next. Uh, they're gonna get twenties through the top wave. They've still got uh, their their core is getting chunked three percent, three to four percent per hit. Yeeks. Hmm. How do we feel about this? Well, uh, just watching Savannah's. Just you know. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is the stream now, everybody. Bolt to the storm. Oh wait, hold on, Sylvanas. hold on. Fight over here on the right hand side. Sylvanas is just ending. Wandering Keg comes out. They step into core. Hyperion's here as well. 
That's going to be game over to the side of the Sith. They go up 2-1 in our best of five series. GG's. Yeah, well played. Well played. A good draft, actually. Like, honestly, a very, yeah. very frustrating draft. Um, and, and played very, very well. Um, just down to the very early fort. Uh, and, and and then just continuing to keep that momentum up. You know, the Falstad pick, I actually really liked it a lot, but wasn't able to get enough ground just because of that early game lead that was picked up there from the side of the Sith. I mean, so. we, we, we're talking, we're talking, what, six minute keep in that um, game? Yeah, and that obviously gets you the passive XP ticking, right? So you, mm-hmm, are, you get that mm-hmm. going. Um, and then, you know, it opens up Top Shrine because now you... You, the other team no longer has that fort protection. Hmm. I'm not really sure. Sylvanas, <laughs> and 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 honest to God, this draft from the side of Sith was disgusting. I mean, knockback from Urel, sound wave from Lucio, mm-hmm. face melt from ATC, penetrating round from Rainer. Sylvanas just movement mobility speed, mobility. Like yeah, it's just it's C-C. like. This is a really, really good draft. It like is, if if, if 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 you're a, if you're an amateur team, if you're any sort of team, this and you're like, it. man, I want to, I want to, I want to learn a draft that's good in our current meta. This is a draft that is good in our current meta. It gives you siege. It gives you team fight. It gives you engage, disengage. It gives you everything. It kind of checks all those boxes. So mm-hmm. the only thing maybe it slightly is is low on is like wave clear, but even then it's not that bad. No, like, because it's not he... the fastest wave clear, but you're still fine. 